Yes, a very welcome to this new episode of Off to Seven Thousand Islands. My name is Eric and I'm living here in the Philippines with my wife since almost a year now and I thought today we're gonna talk about something really really interesting and I first thought very negative about uh, this guy becoming a Filipino you know he has a YouTube channel and now he wants to become uh, a citizen I'm still some parts are critical but there's something what I can relate to and I want to talk about it and um, maybe you didn't know him he is probably the biggest foreign youtuber in the Philippines and I saw some really negative things in Facebook which I think it's also not true let's let's talk about it. Like I want to honestly share what I think about it and how I feel and I want to congratulate becoming a Filipino of being on that journey actually because it is quite uh, something to become uh, somewhere else a citizen and I have some thoughts for that as well but maybe you you actually see it then that would be nice <laughs> write a comment down below but yeah let's get into the video I feel like I'm losing my mind So if you don't know Becoming a Filipino, it's a YouTube channel, it's a guy from Canada and he is very, very positive and very inspiring and he's also very honest about his journey, which I really like. We're trying to be here honest as well on this channel. Of course, he's from North America, which is harder to relate to someone in Europe already, I think, because they are way over the top often, but it's interesting. He had this uh, congressional hearing, the third one, a few days ago where a bill for him will probably going through the Senate now as well and that he becomes a Filipino citizen which is, is a cool thing he lives here a long time and he has of course uh, a congresswoman which supports him some people were bad mouthing it and of course it's for her it's publicity for all those people a lot of publicity but he also does a lot for the philippines making the philippines known and bringing actually visitors to the philippines which is very good i mean i'm working in tourism and it is very very good because Maybe in the US many people know the Philippines, but in the rest of the Western world, the Philippines are like, people don't know it. So it is very good. And also for those haters who think that YouTube is not a proper business, that's actually not true because it's an entertainment business, like how other TV and YouTube production in the past were. So you can earn money with it and that's good. I mean, I'm far off that goal, but <laughs> um, he isn't. He has a million followers, which is, makes him still not a really big YouTuber in the global scale, but for the Philippines it is. And it is inspiring. He brings people here, which is very good. In the same time, I want to say like, I, I, I have some reservations and I think he has them too maybe a bit different i mean he thinks very high of citizenship where i am maybe and that's my german background maybe i don't think that a citizenship is is so highly valued uh, and and countries all around the world should not be that greedy about citizenship so there's it should be easier to obtain and that's what makes me a bit worried about you know what message does it send so he gets his own congress bill so the congress makes extra time for him while filipinos are here not even able to leave the country they need to jump through so many hoops in order to do stuff what he is doing and or like they're waiting years for government id not a passport just an id most people don't have a bank account and all this kind of stuff and then the congress bothers with someone who is, you know, a, a public figure, a celebrity in a sense. And it reminds me a bit of, you know, like in Germany when football player, and yes, I mean those football players who play with a foot and a ball, who get the citizenship because we need them on, the, on, the, on those teams in the Bundesliga and all this kind of stuff, or in the UK in the Premier League where they get citizenship because of 
how famous they are while like the normal people like all those Filipino nurses in Europe and North America they get communicated that they are citizens of second class even if they get green cards and all those equivalents yeah so like here in the Philippines they make fuss about one foreigner but then like all those Filipinos around the world who are living in other countries. In Canada, for example, they, they, they made it much harder now to become a citizen as well. So it's like, what message does it send to them? And I would say that one Filipino nurse in Germany, in Canada, in the US, in the UK, makes a much bigger impact than a YouTuber with a million subscribers. And I think he knows that because he talks very highly of the Filipinos he met in foreign countries. So he given some interviews, I, I link some stuff below. How did you discover the country? Work colleagues were Filipino mm -hmm. and actually I became really connected to them in the sense of becoming friends, you know, hanging out on the weekends. And they're the ones who invited me to come to the country first in 2013. Mm -hmm. And actually, I think that's amazing because imagine my first ever experiences with the Philippines wasn't even in the Philippines, it was Filipinos outside of the Philippines. In Hong Kong. Yeah, speaking highly and positive of the country. Which, which is like my experience as well, because I met my wife in the, in a, in a, in the UK, I uh, met other Filipinos who've been hugely influential on my life, fantastically. And that's uh, a big part of the, the, the Philippine culture of um, when you meet them, they are all fantastic people in most parts of course there's always bad apples and people stay people I have a Christian worldview and I know that people are capable of terrible things so but yeah so this is a bit of a thing like, like I wonder like for me at least sort of a, a bitter aftertaste sometimes like when I hear those stories because like a normal Filipino struggles with so many things and then because he is famous he has a youtube channel he gets stuff and that that yeah it, it, it's difficult so i wonder how filipinos who are not big fans of becoming a filipino channel think about it. maybe comment down below i would be really really interested to see and maybe also what foreigners who live here actually think about it but think about it from this perspective, he's young and he said something in an interview which I actually found very relatable because I feel like this in the UK. I first came here when I was 24. I'm sitting in front of you, 34 years old now. And, you know, I, I've literally the past 10 years of my life, which is 30% of my entire life, if not more than 50% of my prime young adult, my entire young adulthood, I have grown deeply, deeply immersed with this country as a person. And whether I like it or not, the Philippines will be a part of my life. It has shaped who I am as a human, as a, as a person. And, and that's my last point here. Like, wh why is it, why can I support him in doing that? Or why do I think it's actually a good thing that he's doing that? Because he came here when he was fairly young. So I moved when I was 18 or I became 19. I moved to the UK and this time in the UK, I lived there for, for many years was very influential on me as a, as a young adult I developed there so it's like and if someone would come and say do you want the UK citizenship I would say yes that would be a huge honor and that's how he feels about the Philippines and that's uh, really something very very special I hope in some point that maybe I get to this point where I feel like this about the Philippines not sure at the moment I don't feel like it uh, I know that many things would be easier if I would have a Filipino citizenship in order to find jobs and things like this here. And, and maybe that's just my jealousy that I am not thinking so positive about it sometimes. But yeah, that's sort of the thing. So you can really imagine like what he feels and thinks about it. And I actually I want to to finish this video by putting him and what he says in the end I have that from a TV news channel all the sources are down below and yeah comment down below what you think if you think that's 
something uh, good or bad or how do you feel about it? I would be really curious what message does it send to the average Filipino here in the Philippines or in other countries uh, who, who, yeah, who have it not as easy as, as it might appear to him here in the Philippines. So that's, that's maybe uh, something uh, I, I would be really curious. I know I have not a big reach and but I would be really interested to hear hear from you down in the comments or on my social media. You can message me personally as well. Um, yeah, but that's for me now. And let's hear from him why you should come to the Philippines. By kindly inspire all the people watching your interview to visit the Philippines. Yeah, please do right away. Uh, you know, there's the problem is when you come visit the Philippines, you're going to want to come back or you're going to realize you didn't spend enough time and you're going to need to extend or come here or stay longer. Uh, come here with the right attitude, a respect for attitude, a big smile and, you know, wanting to try and connect with new things. And I assure you, you'll have a great experience. Thank you, bye. Ramik Salamat, Dakan Salamat.